Barack Hussein Obama. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, that was a little gay. A bit fruity, nothing wrong with that, just saying, it's a little bit, you know. And Ben Jealous of the NAACP, John Conyers, Maxine Waters, Charlie Rangel, and all the other criminals in the Congressional Black Caucus. Why don't you just say what you want to say, mate, and that is niggers. And Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, and all the Negro race pimps out there. <laughs> Fuck it, that brilliant Negro race pimps. It's ironic considering the word honky, actually one of the derivatives of that word is it was a slang expression created in, in, in black ghetto areas where they would have brothels and rich white guys used to visit the area and because they didn't want to park their car up and leave it and uh, they didn't want to be seen by anyone, what they do is they would park across the street from the brothel and then honk their horn <laughs> and then the people would come out and that's how they got the name honky. And that's a bit rich coming from you isn't it, fucking Ric Flair. On behalf of the Tea Party, we are sick and tired of being called racist. You had me at Hussein. I love this fact that you think you keep repeating the same name, Hussein, over and over again. You'll think you'll actually achieve something. I could do it with you, Grady. What's your name? Grady? Grady? Delbert Grady? Weren't you the caretaker here, Mr. Grady? You cut your family up into little bits. I read it in the paper. And Warren, isn't that where rabbits live? So you're a mad caretaker who has rabbits living in his bum. When our mission is to educate legal American voters, white people, on the most conservative candidates to consider voting for. Yep. That's it. We are good Americans. We are moral Americans. We are religious and non. How are the non-religious people moral? How do they, where do they get their morals from, Grady? Hmm? We are taxpayers. We are civil to our neighbors. Unless they've got a turban on. We love this country, and we are willing to fight for what's right. He meant white. Not political correctness. Well, you just said you're not racist there, mate. I mean, isn't racism politically incorrect? So, in a way, you are fighting for what is politi for political correctness on that sense, because you said you're not racist. And racism, by its nature, is considered by most to be politically incorrect. I'm just saying. The Tea Party is tired of blacks, negras, Muslims, and Hispanics, especially the illegals. <clears throat> yeah, not racist. Not racist. Calling us racist for trying to save the America that we love. So on this third day of November, 2010. It's a bit late, never mind. I declare a tea hard. A tea hard. Like a jihad. So I guess we'll call you tea towel heads. Yeah, right. So let, let's 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 copy everything the Muslims do. But we don't like them. Muslims, for example, have a rich history of infiltrating, immigrating, procreating, fucking, and then eliminating. Yeah. This is a fact of history. Yeah, and, and you know what? I could take any group or demographic quality, Christian, white black, any national label, and I could apply it in that same context, shithead. Therefore, we believe in stopping their progress and starting deportations of all Muslims as soon as possible. Well, even the ones born there? Like the ones born in America? Where are you going to deport them to, Grady? Hmm? Where are you going to do that? Where are you, you going to do Hawaii, maybe? Now, blacks. Listen to us, all of you. They only make up 13% of the population, but somehow they make up 45% of the city, state, and federal jobs. Well, let me explain something to you, cocknogin. 13% of the country, they're not evenly distributed out everywhere. It might be different in one state. I don't even know that that's fucking true, but it might be different in one state than it is different in another one, because there's less of them, yeah? Okay, go to, go to fucking Utah and see how many fucking blacks there are. And we wonder why the government doesn't work. Ooh, not racist. And we wonder why blacks cause more crimes than all other races combined. Yeah, why, 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 why do they call them, why, why, do, it must be because they're black. Right. Racism is based on an entire logical fallacy. That's the great thing about racism, it's 
All of it is just logical fallacy. It's, they're this color, they do this. Therefore, they do this because they're that color. Is it racist if I say that every other minority group that has come to America, no matter how they got here, have succeeded? Most in just one generation. The Chinese, the Vietnamese, the Cambodians. I bet this guy couldn't tell the difference if you put a Chinese, Vietnamese and Cambodian geezer in front of him and asked him to say which is which. And many others. Many others that I'm not going to name. But not the blacks. No. Apart from the president. And the 45 that are in power in the government, according to him. Yeah, they're all in power, but they don't succeed. Blacks are still where they were pretty much 50 years ago. Well, they're not on fire or hanging from a tree. Is that being racist when I ask that question? Well, Ben, I'm sorry, but that's a fact. A question is not a fact, dickhead. Or when the president puts devout Muslims <laughs> in charge of homeland security, are we racist because we do not want to kill babies? <laughs> or because we love Christmas. We love Christmas? <laughs> you love Christmas, you racist bastard. Do your impression of a black man eating chicken. Mm, mm, mm. Or is it racist because we love Sarah Palin? Because she is a female version of Ronald Reagan. What, before or after the Alzheimer's? And to millions of men, she is their fantasy wife. Yeah, the pin-up girl for people who are scared of masturbating. Which one of the daughters was it there who got tapped up before the age of 16 when she was unmarried? If it was the one in the middle, yeah, that's DPR Jones's territory. Sarah is all about what's great in America. Slag! Barack Hussein Obama recently told college students that the Tea Party, conservatives, and white people did not want them of color to vote. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure I would have heard about this if Barack Hussein Obama said publicly that white people don't want you to vote. But here's the good bit. He's outraged that Barack Obama says that white people and conservatives don't want you to vote. But listen to what he says next. You are correct, sir. The 91% of blacks that approve of you, you damn right. We don't want them anywhere near the polls. Yeah, fuck democracy. Look at the honey badger. He didn't give a shit. Is it racist to only want taxpayers and semi-educated folks to vote? Semi-educated? Well, that's you, isn't it, then, Silver Fox? Ladies, gentlemen, young people, our T-Hard needs you. Yes, and I'm issuing a twat fart on your T-Hard. How'd you like that one? No, Ed. So please, join me in this fight. And to Ben Jealous and all the black criminal leaders out there... Niggas. If asking these questions and being good Americans makes the Tea Party members racist. Wait for it, here it is. Well, I guess this Huckleberry is just a racist.